Good morning today, everyone. Welcome to today's level one different strength exercise program. I hope you've had a good week so far and a lovely weekend. Um, this month, we're going to be looking at doing something a little bit different. We're going to be mostly focusing on building up everyone's cardiovascular systems, so building up their stamina, um, just sort of general fitness, um, especially when it comes to, say, long walks and things like that, so you don't feel too tired or fatigued when you're walking long distances or if you, any of you guys go to the gym at all so you don't feel too tired when you're trying out any of the cardio machines. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're also going to be focusing on one body component as well. So we're going to be doing one small circuit that involves a cardio um, vascular sort of theme where there's going to be three exercises and we're going to be doing them for a minute each. Um, we're then having a break and then after that we're doing another three exercises but these will be working on a specific area which for this week is going to be working on shoulders and sort of upper limb um, muscles or sort of upper limb area um, and then we're going to be going on to another break which is then followed by another three exercises that work on cardio and then the last circuit will be focusing on upper limb again. Um, so for every single um, exercise program for the next couple of weeks there's always going to be cardiovascular elements, but like I said, we're going to be focusing on one section of the body each well on most weeks. Um, all you'll need for today is a um, weight or something that's weighted that you can use for some of these exercises, and also something like a walking stick, a pole or broom or something like that, just for a couple of the exercises that we're going to be doing. Um, we'll go straight into the warm-up like in every exercise for a minute, and we're going to be doing them once. So. To begin with, what I'm going to get you guys to do is we're going to start by doing some dynamic um, stretches. So the first one that we're going to get you guys to do is I'm going to have legs out nice and flat in front of you, knees nice and straight, and we're just going to try and come down to the floor and almost try to sweep the floor and come up like so. And we're just going to do that, and try and stretch out our calves, and also mobilise our arms, and come down and up. Lovely. After that, what I'm going to get you guys to do is I want you to lift your knee up, and come round and out to the side, like so. So we're doing what's known as opening the gate. That's it. Good. And I'm going to go the other way, so come round and up. Lovely. After that, what we're then going to do is we're then going to do a couple of high knees, nice and quick to try to stretch out our hips. So it's coming up like so. Good. And then we're just going to bring shoulders up to the ceiling. It. Lovely, and then we'll just give it a little bit of a shake after that before we start. So, like I said, to begin with, we're going to be doing three exercises to work on our cardiovascular system and doing it for a minute each. The first one we're going to be doing is high knee marching for the first minute. So, for this, we're just going to be bringing knees up to chest. If you want to make it slightly more difficult, what you can do is you can have a pillow and sit on the pillow on the chair as well. But it's entirely up to you guys, it just helps improve your balance a little bit. Um, and it'll just make it a little bit more challenging when you're shifting body weight from side to side. But if not, that's fine. We'll start the minute in. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> so nice and high. You want to try and do this at least a moderate, fast pace. Like I said, it's working on your cardiovascular system because so it's getting your heart rate to increase a little bit, getting that blood pumping. It should feel a little bit out of breath by doing this towards the end of the minute. That's it. Good, halfway, keep going. That's it, well done. 20 seconds left.
10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Lovely. Right, moving on to the next one. We're going to be doing seated stagels. Now, for this one, all you're going to do is you're going to hold hands together. We're going to bring arms up and legs out to the side like so. Arms down and legs back together. If you need a little bit of help with this, especially when it comes to stepping up with the legs, if you've got somebody around the canal tissue on that affected side, then that's fine. If you need somebody to help lift your arms up overhead, that's fine as well. But as long as you do it, arms up first, then legs out, that's fine. Okay, and we're going to do this for a minute. So three, two, one, go. Arms up, legs down, arms down, legs in. Repeating that as quickly as we can. Good, keep going. Thirty seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Lovely. Now for the last one we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing something called rounded cars, but for this one we're going to be doing it seated. So what I'm going to get you guys to do is holding arms out in front, like so. All I want you to do is I want you to try and bring your knees up to the opposite side of your body. Okay, so you're just going to come up like so, bringing knees across trying to almost touch that hand in the middle, like so, keeping arms up like that the whole time. Again, if you need a little bit of help with that effect to side, that's fine, okay? So we're gonna start this in a second, and we're gonna do it for a minute, so three, two, one, go. Arms out in front, coming up, like so. Keep going, 30 seconds left. Good, well done. Five, four, three, two, one. And stop there. Lovely. Everyone grab a quick um, drink and have a quick break, and then we'll go into the next exercise in just a minute. So, for the next three exercises, we're going to be doing them all based on a pull in. This is where the weights and the poles are going to come in. Um, for the first one, we're really, really going to need the weight. And the first exercise that we'll be doing will be shoulder presses, so holding that weight in our hands and pushing up towards the ceiling. So, again, if you need help to help lift that weight up, into the ceiling, that's okay. And then after that, we'll be moving on to the next one. So I'll quickly grab a drink myself before we start. Once everyone's settled, we'll get into it in three, two, one, and go. So lifting that weight overhead. that shoulder press. Nice and slow, we don't have to do it too quick for this part, just because this is more about rest period between cardio exercises. What you call a shoulder presser a rest. That's it. Halfway already.
30 seconds, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. And stop there for a moment. Right. So for the next one, we're going to be doing is keeping elbows nice and straight. We're going to be lifting the weight up overhead, like so, working on the front of our deltoid muscles in our shoulder. So we're going to do this again for a minute. Again, just do this nice and slow and at a nice leisurely pace. This is all about building up muscle strength rather than building up our cardiovascular system. So it just gives our cardiac system a little bit of a rest after doing those three minutes of hard work. So we'll start in three, two, one, go. Nice and slow. Go, 30 seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And stop there. Lovely. Right. Now for the last one of the upper limb exercises for this particular circuit, all we're going to be doing is shoulder shots. So keeping the weight nice and low between our knees. And we're just going to bring our shoulders up to our ears and back down. Like so. Again, nice and slow tempo. We're only doing it for the minute. And then we'll have another break and go back into the cardiovascular ones. So we'll start in three, two, one, go. Twenty seconds left, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Lovely. Right. Now for the next one, we are going to need a pole for this one when it comes to the cardio one. Just for this particular exercise, the other ones are fine for us not to use anything. We're going to be doing rowing, however, we're going to be doing it slightly different to what we usually do when we use the weight. So usually when we use the weight, I get you guys to have knees out to the side and then coming down and up. However, with the pole broom, what you're going to be doing is you're going to have legs out nice and straight. And all we're going to be doing is sitting slightly further forward on the chair, not too far that you feel like you're going to slip off. We just our backs off the back of the chair. And all you're going to do is you're going to come down as low as you can. And all we're then doing is that after that is then pulling back, leaning back slightly so our back touches the back of our chair and then we're coming forward again. This is more like a traditional row. And as you do it, you can bring the pole up towards your chest if you want and back down again as well, like so. So from the side, it should look something like this. So legs out in front, slightly further forward on the chair so I'm not touching the back of the chair. Coming down nice and straight, and then coming back, pulling the pole up towards us, back down as well. Like so. Okay, again, we're going to be doing this at a moderate pace. Just take your time getting into that comfortable position because we're going to be doing it quite quickly. And we'll start in three, two, one, go. So, coming down, and leaning back.
There are only 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and start. Lovely. Now you can pop the ball down to the side. For the next one, what we're going to be doing is bicycle kick. So for any of you guys sitting on the chair, it's quite low and can't kick their legs out in front like so. Whilst holding on, what you can do is have feet on the floor and do a kick out in a circular motion, but nice and quick. So like that almost. So from the side, you can do it so you kick out nice and quick, like so, okay? We're gonna do this one for a minute and then we have one more cardio exercise before we have three more shorter exercises and finish there. So we'll start in three, two, one, and go. So nice big round bicycle kicks. Holding either onto the bottom of the chair if you want, or having our arms crossed, your hands on our lap. Or if you want, you can assist it. One of those sides is slightly more affected than the other. 40 seconds left. That's it. Good, keep going. 20 seconds. Sit, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Lovely. Now for the next one, the last cardio exercise, what we're going to be doing is one similar to what we did in the warm-up, and that's opening the gate. So coming up, around to the side, like so. You can assist it by helping to lift that leg up and come around to the side if you need to. But we always return back feet together at the end. Okay, we're going to do this one for a minute again, moderate pace, and then we'll have our break afterwards. So we'll do this for a minute in three, two, one, and go. That's it. Good, keep going, just under 30 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Lovely, and then everyone get a, a quick Great. I'm just going to get us onto the last circuit for today. So for these ones, we'll need weights and the pole. Um, two of the exercises we'll be using a weight and one of the exercises we'll be using a pole for. The first one we're going to be doing is normal chest presses in front. So we'll have that weight. We're just going to be pushing that weight in front like so. Okay. So I'm just give everybody a couple more seconds to finish their drinks and get that way. With this one, make sure you've got a nice straight back and that we're pushing out in front of our chest and we're not letting it drop down too low, okay? So we'll start in three, two, one, and go. Seconds left. Five, four, 
10 seconds, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Right. Now for the next one, we're going to be using that pole. And all I'm going to get you guys to do for this one, is holding onto that pole, we're just going to move it side to side, like so, across the chest. And we're going to be doing this one for a minute, okay? So, I know everybody just quickly grab a stick or pole or broom, like what I've got here, unfortunately mine's not that, that long, missing this handle. Um, so we'll start in three, two, one, and go. So just coming side to side. Keeping arms out straight in front, but then bending the elbows a little side to side. Good, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Lovely. Now for the last one, all we're going to be doing for this one is knees, shoulder for part, hold on to that weight. We're just going to do bicep curls up to the chest and back down towards the floor. Okay, after this one, we'll have a quick cool down and then we'll finish there. All right, so we'll start in three, two, one, go. Up to the chest and then back. Thirty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop that. Lovely. Well done, everyone. <clears throat> so that brings us to the end of the exercises for today. We are going to go into a very small cool down um, before we finish off completely for today. So the first exercise I'm going to get you guys to do is I'm going to have legs out in front. The first stretch, we're just going to reach down towards our toes. I'm going to hold it for about 10 seconds or so. And we're going to come back up. And we're going to come back down again. Ten seconds. Back up and back down. Good. We're going to bring these to chest. Just hold them there for ten seconds. Change. Changing again. And once more. Good. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the shoulders forward. And we're going to rotate backwards. 
I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shake drop after that and then finish there. So well done today everyone. I hope that today's helped to work your cardiovascular system. Next week we'll be focusing on cardio exercises again, um, but also focusing then working a little bit further downward from that fall um, for the next um, week. And then after that we'll move on to the legs and then down onto um, wrists and ankles. Following you know, the same pattern we're working on cardiovascular in each single week. So I hope you guys have a lovely week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care, everyone.